Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another vi video. Now, I've played a lot of video games in my life. Um, Nintendo, like, I mean NES Nintendo, um, old Xbox, Xbox 360, GameCube, uh, the Wii ripoffs, um, there's this one plug-and-play Jedi lightsaber game. i played a lot of games. Now, I kind of understand now what makes a video game good and what makes a video game bad. We're going to talk about that today. So, what makes a video game good? And to that, I say there's two distinct things that make the video game good. Number one is that it has a challenge to it. It's kind of like you can't just turn it on and beat the whole thing without even trying. I know that I've played games where you can do that. Not fun. Granted, if they're story-based, it's a little bit different. You're busy watching the story. But I'm talking about video games as in, like, not Telltale games. Um, a video game, you know, the challenge of, like... When you play Battlefield, you can't just pick up a sniper rifle and start offing people. We all know that feeling. You can't just do that. Call of Duty, you can't just pick up a shotgun and kill people. You have to learn to get good at it. Very simple. So it has to have a good challenge to it. The other thing it has to have, for me at least, to be fun is... There has to be a reward um, for leveling up and playing the game more that involves your skill, so the unmeasurable reward. The best example I can give of this is probably, oh, there's so many actually of the best examples. I'll use Rainbow Six Siege because it's a modern game, but oh, there's something in my eye, sorry about that. So Rainbow Six Siege, now it looks like I'm on drugs. Uh, kinda, not really. But Rainbow Six Siege, that's a game where, yeah, you have like your rank in ranked, but really, I noticed that my skill level is always going up in that game. Whether it's things like leaning across corners and having better accuracy or having better map knowledge or having doing epic plays because I just know the map. All of it. All of it is something that I, I kind of feel is the best reward. Right? PUBG. Um, it's kind of nice because you have your kill count. But you also have how good you are with the sniper rifles versus the shotguns versus the SMGs versus the assault rifles versus the pistols, right? Like PUBG, I used to not be able to get any kills with a pistol. It's different now. I can. So if a game rewards you, honestly, and has a high skill ceiling, I like it. You know, Civilization VI, I can pretty much, at this point, I know the game so well, I can play it uh, on, a, on the normal difficulty without even thinking. Like... If you're at that point where you have to bump up the game's difficulty to where it artificially makes it harder, that's a sign of a good game. Good game design. You know, I mean, uh, Elder Scrolls games reward you with figuring out new metas and being able to do even cooler things than you already can. I mean, there's, there's lots of examples I can give, but that's the, that's the, kind of the core ones. In a bad video game, um, you know, bad video games just don't have that challenge and they don't make that drive to play them. You know, for me, the drive is the high skill ceiling. For some people, it might be a good story. For some people, you know, I think a good story can drive even those of us that really like competitive games. I think a good story can drive us too. But I think a, a factor that I personally like that I don't necessarily think is a factor for everyone but I think definitely for me, is if the game has a concept. And this is, I think, what made the plug-and-play Jedi game so fun for me, because I played it a lot. I got good at it. I beat it, because I got really good at it, is that there's usually a concept in the game, and it just goes all in on that concept. The Jedi game was like, you're a Jedi, and you have this lightsaber and all these angles and moves you can do, and it was really fun. And it was really fun to just... You felt like you were getting better, and it went all in on that Jedi mechanic. Um, Rainbow Six Siege went all in on the tactical gunfight mechanics of the game. Like, it went all in. You can tell. Alright? Some games, you know, like... I hate to say it, but No Man's Sky 
is still to me not all in on the space theme. It's very close, but not enough for me to just be like, wow, that's a good game. Right? No Man's Sky is an okay game. It's got some other problems too. But just if the game goes all in on its concept, and then you combine for me the, like the skill ceiling and the challenge, it's amazing. I love it. So guys, I would like for you to share with me what makes a game good for you. Is it all the things I said? Is it none of them? Share those in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.